What's up folks, I hope you're having a wonderful night or day. My apologies in advance, I got hit with the Rona a couple of days ago and it is still kicking my butt, but I'm gonna try to do my best today because I wanted to get this guide video out as soon as possible. Today I wanted to talk about how you go about making the oils and the extracts in the game. You're probably going to see this as soon as you start dipping your toes into crafting T2 and above, but also you'll be using the extracts for other things, including alchemy, but we'll go into that another time. All you need to understand in this video is what the oils are and how you can use them to get the extracts. Now, the first thing I'm gonna tell you about is the aspects, and this will be relevant in just a moment, but there's 19 of them in the game. We have air, body, chaos, create, death, destroy, earth, fire, knowledge, life, mind, negate, order, soul, time, transfer, transform, and water. Hopefully you can remember all of that. Not just kidding. My jokes aren't as good when I'm sick. So for this example, I've already started crafting a couple, but I'm going to use Shadium and Azurite. So as you can see, as I hover over this, these oils are capable of extracting certain aspects. Now it's not the same for every single one of them, and this is something to keep in mind. Blazium, for example, Blazium oil can only extract mind, create, transform, fire, life, energy, whereas Shadium oil can only extract soul, negate, air, death, chaos, and time. Now to craft these oils, it only takes one thing. Well, two of these one things, to be fair. You need the crystals it's associated with, which can only be transported via wagon, unless you want to make a very long trek. Now these crystals can be found all over the maps across the different planets. The Shadium ones are normally going to be found where there's undead. The Azurite is going to be normally found in the north on the human planet where the Jotuns are. The Fulgurite will be found on the eastern side and on the western side we've got ourselves the Sulfurite. And then on the Terra planet, I'm just going to start calling it Terra from now on, you can find Blazium and Vitriol. So once you have these crystals, you bring it to the distillery, which is the only bench that can break them down into oils. This can be crafted on your house plot or if your guild is giving you access to your city or if you're the city that you're part of is giving you access or whatever you can use it there if you're crafting it from your house itself it's eight metal sheets and four metal components which can be crafted with metal bars i'll go into that another time as well now once you have these oils you're going to bring them to what's known as an aspect extractor which can also be built in your house or accessed in a city but wait before you do that you're going to need to find some materials I've already got materials in my inventory to showcase this example, but I did want to show off my little storage area. Now for this example that I'm doing, because I'm going to need to create some mithril ingots, I need to get mind and knowledge extracts. So truth be told, I only need to use this as a right oil. I don't even need to worry about the shadium. But what you're going to do with this oil is you're going to notice that on materials you find out in the world, whether it's killing mobs or gathering, you're going to see that they have power aspects tied to them. So this wind bloom nectar, it has create five times, water three times, two lifetimes and then for winter star roots for example it has two mind three water one order i highly recommend checking out any calculators you can find online for this the guild that i'm in iron bank has a calculator of its own that can help to guide players on the right path but fracturedbase.com has another imbued calculator if you're not in any guilds that provide some and all you need to do is you put in the extract that you're looking for so like air for example and then you can see all the materials that have any sort of air aspect tied to them what you can do from there is either figure out either by putting the materials name into the wiki, the Fractured MMO wiki, which I'll leave a link in the description for as well. You can figure out where it's gathered from, where it's located. You can also ask in game for the players to help you, or you can even put buy orders up on whatever auction is local to you and see if players would be willing to come and sell you some. So once you're looking at these materials, it's really best to aim for ones that are local to your area. If you're on Terra, you want to look for materials that are on that planet, for example, or ones that you can come over to Aaron and buy. Once you have those materials, at least four of them, although I'm not sure if you're able to do this with at least three, you might be able to if you can reach 10 without going to four. Actually, yeah, you can get the extracts even if you only have three of the items as long as it adds up to 10. Although you don't want to use any legendary materials on this, so if you get any of those, don't do that. You don't need to. But what I'll say first is you're going to want to take a look at the bottom here. It's it's going to say that you must reach an intensity level of 10 in at least one aspect to start extracting it. Now, since I have the oil of Azurite, these are the only power aspects that I'll be able to extract from these materials. Once I put the first material that has mind in it in, you're going to see this go up by four bars. So what I have to do is I just have to put in four materials that add up to at least 10. And the tricky part about this, which was confusing for me at first, is the number of materials that you put in has to be equal to the oils that you have in this middle slot. So just as an example and to kind of showcase how it differs, if I take five oils of Shadium and put them in here instead, not only are the power aspects that I can extract going to change on the right side, but it's also going to change the amount that I need to put in for the materials. 
So what I'm gonna do for the oil of azurite is I'm going to put in four materials that I've saved. Like I said, there's no preset combo. It's basically whatever materials you can find. And then now that I'm at 10 mine, this message on the bottom goes away and I can go ahead with extraction. Once I do that, it's going to double it up. So I believe you get two extracts per oil that you use. So I hit extract. And then it gave me 20 mined extracts as a result. Now you can do this with any of the extracts that you need. Uh, because I need to get the knowledge extract, I'm actually gonna have to take some of the azurite out of the smeltery. So I'm gonna use that really quick, hold on. So I'm just taking them out of the smeltery and putting them into this wagon. And it's two per, so it's, it's two azurite per um, oil craft. So I'm gonna take four of those. And then we're gonna go craft two sets of oil azurite. Then we're gonna switch to azurite oil. We don't have them in here yet, but you got this nifty tool while you're carrying a wagon for deposit all. Now I have two, so I'm gonna get 10 alchemical oil from this. And then normally there's a timer, but if you're VIP, you can skip that timer. You get up to 10 hours of skip per day as a VIP, which is extremely useful. If you're not VIP, not super big deal. You just gotta wait a little bit, come back when it's ready. Now with 10 more oils of azurite, actually I'm only gonna be using nine because I don't have nine of each material when it comes to knowledge. Now the reason for that is because I've only got nine of each material for the knowledge in my storage. I need to go out and gather or buy some more. But actually what I also do is I keep one of each item left in the storage. So if I'm, if I'm almost down to like zero, I leave one in there. And the reason I do this is because anytime I go out and gather it or buy it, I come back here and I can just immediately deposit it right in and I don't have to worry about sorting the inventory or anything like that. Highly recommend using that as well for just your regular bank. It's gonna make life a whole lot easier. Just trust me on that. Just leave at least one item of whatever you're gonna be using it for, like you know, extracting or crafting, leave at least one in your bank. It's gonna become a whole lot easier when dumping it in right away. So I'm gonna take these nine, start building my way up to 10 knowledge. Spell Residue is really good for knowledge if you're needing that. And then I got Primal Blood or I got Quicksilver. Now see, Quicksilver only has one knowledge. So if I put that in, that's not gonna get me to 10. So I actually do need to put the Primal Blood in there. So for my knowledge combo, what I do is I do nine Dendron Lamps, I do nine Zombie Brains, I do nine Spell Residue and Primal Blood, nine Primal Blood. I'd say the Spell Residue is probably the hardest to get out of all of these, although I don't quite remember where you get the Zombie Brains. I have a friend on Terra that helps me gather the Dendron Lamps and I buy it off of them, so that helps me a lot there, but the Spell Residue does take a little bit of time to farm. So I extract that, that's gonna give me 18 Knowledge Extract, and then now I can use it for whatever I need. So whether that's crafting, refining, whatever, I can use that now. So I'm gonna go ahead and access the smeltery. Now I'm gonna be crafting the mithril ingots, which requires the mind extracts and knowledge extracts. I've got the other materials, silver ore, tin ore, azurite crystals, extra azurite crystals. So I should be able to make at least 30 ingots if I have enough coal here. Let's find out. Yeah, okay. So, see I need to get it to the, to the heat bar, which is 1800 degrees Celsius. Don't quite have enough coal for that, so I'm gonna to have to bring this down. I have to bring it down to about three. That's gonna split it, so that's gonna give me 15 mithril ingots. And the next time I get more coal, I can just uh, craft the rest. But that should do it for this example. Hopefully that answers you guys' questions about the oils and the aspect extractors. If there's anything I didn't cover, please, please leave that in the comments below, and I'm so sorry about that. I'll make sure to cover anything I missed in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful night or day. I'll catch you next time, folks. Peace.